Okay, welcome back for this part of the lesson. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take what we've done here and we're going to look at a reaction and figure some things out with the reaction. So here's the question you might get on a test and that is you have three grams of H2 like we did before and like we did before I want to know how many liters of water and we're going to assume that all of these are in the gaseous state not liquids okay that's a gotcha on some of this that said liquid then none of this works okay let me say that again if I said liquids none of this would work it has to be gases okay for the volume part of it to work the stoichiometry still works but okay so I start with three grams of hydrogen and I want to know how many liters of H2O gas are produced at standard temperature and pressure. So it's pretty much like we did before. The first thing you would do is you would write your givens over the reaction. Okay, So I'm going to take this and I'm going to write my given. So I've got three grams of this and I'm looking for H2O in liters. Okay. So I know that each one of these I'm going to have to do the triangle, right? 2 times 2.016 or 1.008 which equals 2.016 grams. This is going to be 22.4 liters. Notice that basically I'm doing the triangle, right? How did I know what to do? How did I know to do the mass here and liters here? Well, that's what's up here. Grams, grams, liters, liters. Okay, so now that we've done that, now we're going to actually work the problem by doing the line. So we start with 3 grams of H2. What goes down here has to be grams of H2. What am I converting to? Now we're dealing with the reaction now. So what's the reaction written in? 2 moles of H2 plus 1 mole of O2 yields or produces 2 moles of H2O. So we're dealing with moles. So moles of H2, now I'm going to plug in my numbers, 2.016 grams is equal, to one, is equal to one mole. One mole, mole H2, is connected to the two moles, sorry, I got that backwards. Moles of H2, moles of H2, what number goes here? This is the reaction. Remember, given, triangle, reaction, triangle, okay? Had to back up there. Given, triangle, reaction, triangle. So, given, triangle, reaction, two moles of H2 to two moles H2O, and now triangle, which is here. So in one mole, note why is it mole? Because I got moles up here. So remember we do the diagonal thing. H2, H2, moles H2, moles H2, moles H2O, moles H2O. What am I converting it to? I'm converting it to liters. So 22.4 liters. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and solve. Okay? So you could go 3 times 1 is 3, times 2 is 6, times 22.4 is 134.4. Might check my math in the calculator because I did it in my head. 4.032 because 2.016 times 2 times 1 is 4.032. And then plug that in your calculator and see what you get. I'll go ahead and check myself. 6 times 22.4. Okay, did good. I did it correctly. Divided by 4.032. Wow, equals. That was not intentional. 33.33 liters of H2O. How did I know that? Grams of H2 divided by grams of H2 canceled to 1. Moles of H2 divided by moles of H2 cancel to 1. Moles of H2O divided by moles of H2O cancel to 1. And what is left? 
leaders of H2O. Never labeled that one. Okay? Now, calculation wise, some of you may have noticed that that's 2 divided by 2 and that cancels. So if you're doing a lot of this in your head like I do, then when you notice things like that, go ahead and simplify if you, if you would like to before you calculate. Okay, let's run back through this and make sure that you got what, what we're doing. First step is whenever you have a problem is make sure you have a balanced equation. Write the given numbers on top of the equation, so three grams, question mark, liters. Then you're going to do your triangles. So we're going to either find the molar mass, which this is in grams, or we're going to find the volume, which is always 22.4 liters. Okay? And then we're going to plug it on the line. So what did we start with? What were we given? What am I holding in the tank? Three grams of H2. And then it's given conversion factor from the triangle, reaction, triangle. And remember, these are ratios. Two moles of H2. For every two of those, I should get two of those. For every one of those, I should get two of those. That's where the reaction conversion comes from. In other words, two moles of H2 is going to produce two moles H2O. And I can take that and put it on the line however I need to. Okay, so what I want you to do is you have a couple of problems like this that I want you to work through and, uh, and I'll be walking around and helping you as you need it. Thank you.